Hello, how is everyone doing today? Life skills with iHustleNation.com. Seems like some of you are advocates for pain. You're begging for another uh, video blog and you didn't even let the last one sink in, so I'm going to give you one. Today I was going to speak on letting go. I get a series of emails of people who have issues and it seems like at first I thought you all had issues with letting go, but um, after reading a few of them, I realized that you guys have issues with love and what love is. Uh, it seems to me you all don't know what love is at all. Now, I'm going to explain what love is based out of the Bible. Now, uh, here's a disclaimer. I'm not a preacher, a pastor, or, 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 or minister, or anything like that. Uh, but since the majority of you are... Now, I am a Christian, so I don't want to buy go off and thinking Lewis loves the devil. Um, but it seems like the majority of you don't know what love is. And since the majority of you are Christian, and the majority of you... Uh, in the world actually are Christian and believe in God I'm, I'm actually like going to purchase the Quran and the Buddhist book to kind of learn more about uh, the Quran and, Buddhist and Buddhism and things of that nature uh, but Christianity is the only is the only religion where the focal person of the religion died for the people no other one does that so uh, I see that as pretty valid in my personal opinion now uh, we're going to speak about what love is uh, there are three different kinds of love. You have eros, E-R-O-S, eros, which is erotic romantic love. You have philios, which is a, a love based on friendship between two people. That's where the, uh, the state Philadelphia, uh, the city Philadelphia, that's where it's called the city of brotherly love. It came from philos. And you have agape love, which is unconditional love. Uh, what I'm going to be speaking on today is agape love, the unconditional love. In the Bible, Corinthians 13 and 4 reads, Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. First off, if I was love, I would be whooping some of y'all asses on a daily basis because you abuse love and you don't even know what love is. You are based in love based on what you've seen in the media and that is not love. That is what you call stupidity. It surprises me that out of all the songs made and out of all the movies made, not one damn person referred to the Bible and put in Corinthians 13 in reference to what love is. Now, it says love is patient, love is kind. Love is patient meaning no one gets on your nerves. When you're in love, there's no such thing as being on somebody's nerves. First off, does anybody even know what the nerves do in the body? I mean, you take a saying and you beat the hell out of the saying, oh, this person, they're getting on my nerves. Do you even know what your nerves are? Do you even know the purpose of the nerves? Do you know what they do? I mean, you, you just pretty much take this saying and you abuse it. Uh, it says love is kind. Kind is from the Greek, it, 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 kind is a Greek word which came from the word usefulness, which it pretty much means putting love into action. Um... Another kind is like to do a kind act, like somebody falls, you help them up, uh, somebody's sad, you make them happy. Uh, being kind is also telling someone no. I had an aunt, she was on drugs, crack was her best friend. She was skinny, she was withering, and she withered over to me and asked me for $20. I loved her enough to tell her no, you can't have $20. You give her $20, you don't see her for three days. I kid you not. And then she come back looking like she ain't went nowhere. So being kind is also loving somebody enough to tell them no. Sometimes the best help is no help. It does not envy. Jealousy is. I don't. I don't. I don't want what you have. Uh, jealousy is like, uh, why do they have that? You know, they shouldn't have that. Uh, I don't want them to have that. Uh, love is. Love would say, I'm happy that you have that. Uh, real love would always say, you know what? That's good that they have that. That's good that they have those accomplishments. Uh, it does not boast and it is not proud. Uh, you know, people are always bragging, me, 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 I, 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 this is what I do. That's not love. Love, you come to people and say, what do you have going on? What are you doing? I'm happy that that's going for you. If you're gonna, if you're gonna boast, boast on others. Be proud for others. Uh, love does not boast on, on your personal. It is not rude and it is not self-sinking. Rude comes from the word unbecomingly, which means treating people rude or disrespectful. Trying to figure out how you can love somebody and call them a stupid bitch in the same breath. Uh, same thing with, uh, and you know, the, that, that's a phrase that goes both ways. 
uh, I've heard both races call both uh, sexes call each other uh, just just crazy bad words. And you can't be rude or disrespectful to somebody when you love them. I remember as a child, my mother did some things to where I pretty much she would really make me upset. And um, I used to want to, you know, I used to get to a point where it's like I wanted to talk rude to my mom, but I couldn't because of the love I had for my mom. You, you just can't. I couldn't bring myself personally to be talking bad to someone uh, that I love so much. Um, it is not in easily angered. Um, when you're when you're in love, you shouldn't get mad over every little thing. I remember I talked to a girl and everything I did made her mad. Well, I'm like, this ain't gonna work because I ain't gonna stop doing this stuff. Like, and it wasn't nothing major. I'm willing to change, but it's like, man, that's just me. You want me to not be me? I, I, I wasn't I wasn't willing to do that. Uh, it keeps no records of wrongs. It keeps no records of wrongs. That would possibly have to be the strongest line in the whole. Uh, Corinthians. It keeps no records of wrong. Uh, you know how you people often, um, oh, I remember that time he this. I remember that time he that. I remember when he was doing this. I remember when he was doing that. You don't bring up what was done before. First off, if you're harboring that, you're never going to fully love somebody because you harboring that inside. It's going to always come up. Anytime he goes somewhere, anytime she goes somewhere, she's probably going to cheat again. It holds no records of wrong. So you can't be bringing up what happened in the past. If you forgave them, that's it. You're done with it. Don't bring it up anymore. Um, C.S. Lewis uh, said that boasting is the most evil of sins. Uh, to love is to brag on others. I'm sorry I forgot to tell y'all that in reference to uh, bragging. Okay. And it does not hold a checklist of who messed you over and things of that nature. I don't care what ex religion that you are. That is the best uh, example of love I've ever heard. Uh, and I, I, at, at this point, the majority of you are probably questioning if you are in love or if you have ever been in love. Uh, as you can see, love takes work. You don't fall in love with somebody. You choose to fall in love with uh, somebody. Whoever said you can't help who you fall in love with is a damn lie. Love is a choice. You choose to fall in love with somebody. Now, love is not. Let me tell you what it isn't. Love is not liking somebody a whole lot. Love is not someone buying you things. Love is not someone abusing you mentally or physically. Love is not wearing a mask knowing that you're hurting inside. Love is not wearing, uh, love is not going through the motion for the sake of saving face. And love is not good sex. I used to tell a female, to me, love is two people kissing at a bus stop. To me, that's love. Y'all both ain't got nothing. You on the bus, uh, and, and you're kissing at the bus stop, and, um, that pretty much shows that, you know, if you don't have anything else, you have each other. Well, uh, she replied to me by stating that I will never be at a bus stop. So pretty much uh, she doesn't even know what love is. Um, so, I mean, when you, when you can't understand that analogy, uh, that's a personal problem. I can't help you with that. There are people who have been married and divorced and did not know what love is. They didn't even know that scripture existed. When you compromise love, you become who you despise. I grew up without a father. So, while growing up, my father was not in my life, so I ended up becoming my father towards him when he started to try to become in my life. Uh, you become who you despise when you lack love. I turned into him. I neglected him. I didn't want to answer his calls. I didn't want to talk to him. Um, some of you are trying to find love, and you're not capable of love. Until today, you didn't even know what love is. Um, the most important thing is that you have to understand when you ask where is the love, the love is in you. You're not attracting love because you're not giving love. Let me give you an example of what a story I heard of what love is. There was a, there was a pastor who had to preach at his wife's uh, eulogy. His wife passed away. He called his wife baby. He said, um, me being a famous pastor, I remember sometimes, I remember there was a time where someone gave me a death threat. And the death threat would seem more real than all the other death threats. They had their address and things of that nature. Well, the man wakes up one morning and the wife is gone and he runs around frantically. Where's my wife? I can't find my wife. He runs in there all through the house. He runs outside and he runs outside and the wife pulls up in a robe in the car. So the husband asks the wife, he says, hey, uh, where did you go? I've been looking all over for you. Uh, her statement was, uh, they could have planted a bomb in the car. So I took the car and I drove it around the block just to make sure there wasn't a bomb in the car. Is that person you're in love with? Would they jump in the car if there was a bomb in it for you? Now I'm being messy. 
Life Skills with iHustleNation.com. I am Lewis Williams, and I appreciate your time.